Hey friends, Gaurav here. So today I'll go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and install Windows 8 8.1 onto your computer. So first of all what you need to do is you need to insert your Windows CD into the computer. After that you need to restart your computer and as soon as it restarts just start pressing the F8 or the F10 button which would boot in using your CD so once you will do that the screen would appear so in this it would ask you to choose your language time and keyboard you can select according to your country uh, your language and once you are done with it just simply press the, uh, click on the next button so now it would give you two options install now and the second option is to repair your computer so if you do not want to uh, completely fresh install the windows you can do a repair your computer but today I'll go ahead and do a clean clean install and we'll go ahead and install the whole windows 8 completely so once you'll press on this button the setup would start and it would start loading the files from the computer so once the setup part is completed the screen would appear uh, in which it would be asking you to insert the product key which you had received with your Windows 8 CD so what you need to do is you just need to simply type in the product key and once you type in the product key just simply click on the next button so once we press on the next button it would identify your key and then it would ask you to accept the terms and conditions so you need to click on this I accept and you need to scroll it down to the bottom and then go ahead and click on the next button so once you click on next it would ask you to upgrade install windows or custom install windows so this upgrade install we do not recommend it to do because it's uh, if you have windows 7 and then you need to upgrade it to windows 8 and it's very tedious and complicated stuff so I would not recommend it I would always recommend the custom install windows only just go ahead and click on that so now it would show you the partitions of your drive so what you need to do is uh, you need to format the drives as I have multiple drives created so if you only want to format the main drive which is the C drive so that only the C drive is formatted and you can simply install the windows you can do that or if you want to uh, completely erase each and everything from your computers from other drives also like D and E you need to you can format those also so now I'll show you how you can do that so what you need to do is you need to click on the option advance as you can check my mouse you'll get the option here advance I've already clicked on that option so that's why it's not uh, reflecting here so where the mouse is pointed there would be an option advance just simply click on that and this format would come up where it shows refresh delete format load extend so what we need to do is we need to format all the drives so the drive 0 partition 1 reserved so this is the reserved partition of the files um, which are the windows preloaded file we will not touch that we will simply go to the zero partition to drive just select that drive select the option format and click on ok so as you can check uh, the total size is 162.7 GB and the free space size is 162.6 GB so it has been formatted so I'll go ahead and perform the same step to all of these drives so as you can see it's showing 17 now it's showing 195 so it has been also formatted now I'll go ahead and format the last drive also so now uh, what I'll do is I'll also guide you how you can create multiple drives so as you can check there are three drives and it's of 162 195 and 107 GB so you can change the size also and the number of drives you want to create you can create that those also 
so I'll guide you how you can do that so first of all what we need to do is we need to delete these partition so I'll just go ahead and delete them so it's now showing unallocated space So now the unallocated space has increased to 3 or 2. I'll delete this partition also. So now as you can check the unallocated space which we have is 465.4 GB. So we can now allocate into number of drives and we can choose the size of the drives whichever we want. So now I'll create 3 drives. I'll show you how we can create those so now to create drives what you need to do is you need to select the unallocated space then you just need to click on new now it would ask you how much size do you want to create the drive for and it should be in mbs so what i'll do is i'll create the first drive that would be of 100 gb So this is my first drive which I am creating. So I'll just click on apply. And click on OK. So as you can check the first partition which I created was of 1 uh, 100 GBs and it came out to be a little less like 98 GB so I would recommend just to increase the size if you want to create a size of 100 GB you can put in like 110 GB so that it can approximately go to 105 to 6 GBs so as you can check these other partition the partition 2 partition 3 and partition 2 the, these are the uh, system created drives uh, which are pre-installed by your manufacturer so just leave those drives as it is so what you need to do next is as we can check we have still we have the unallocated space of 367 gbs so we need to allocate these also to another drive so i will create two another drives and i'll divide 367 um, into two parts so what we'll do is again we'll click on the unallocated space click on next and this time I'll enter say somewhat around 200 so I've entered to 1000 so 200 GB is drive I'll just simply click on apply and as you can check the next drive which was created is of 205 GB so the first drive is of 107 GB, the second is of 205. The other drives in MBs, these are the drives created by your manufacturers, you can just leave them. Now the unallocated space we are left with is 152.32 GB. So we'll just simply go ahead and create this drive. We'll again click on, then click on new. So it's showing 156 the whole, I'll just simply click on apply and it would create the drive so as you can check now i have distributed my 500 gb hard drive into three parts that is this main drive c drive where i'll install is 107 gb the d is 205 the e drive which i will create is of 152 gb so i'll tell you why i created these drive three drives so sometimes what happens is due to infection your computer gets slowed down or it does not boots up so at that point if you have kept your import important data in d or e drive you can simply go ahead and reinstall the windows on c drive and uh, your data on d and e drive would be saved so what next we'll do is we'll just click on the primary drive where we want to install the windows and we'll just simply click on next so it's showing installing windows your computer would restart several times so it's showing copying windows files so it would take some time to install your windows 
uh, so I'll skip that part and I'll come back to the part when uh, the installation part is done so once the installation is completed it would show you the screen to personalize you can choose the background if you want to choose different colors you can choose it from there then it would ask you to give your PC name you can name your PC and click on next so it would ask you to connect to your wireless network so what I'll do is I'll just simply click on this connect to my wireless network later now it would ask you to choose the settings so there are two options at the bottom use express settings or custom settings so we always recommend to use the express settings just simply click on express settings so now it would ask you to enter the details for your PC the sign in details so what you can do is you can enter your name the password re-enter the name and then you can put in the password hint so I have entered the username as Gaurav and if you do not want any password for your computer you can just simply leave those blank and simply click on finish so now it would be giving you the screen which says finalizing your settings Hi. so now it's getting ready so now it would ask you to move your mouse to the corner so simply take your mouse to the corner and then it would show you we are getting your PC ready it might say take some time to get all the things set up so as you can check uh, this is the start screen for Windows 8 if you want to go to the desktop screen just click on the desktop icon so here is the desktop screen so if you simply want to go to the start screen back just go to the bottom and the start screen would come back so I would recommend you to go ahead and update it to Windows 8.1 that is a free update you just need to go on to Windows Store and you need to type in Windows 8.1 there would be an application you just need to download it once it is downloaded you can go ahead and install it and it would automatically upgrade your computer to windows 8.1 the benefits in windows 8.1 is it would give you a start button and few more personalization that you can use to personalize your computer so this was a quick video how you can go ahead and install if you like the video just click on the thumbs up button and also do check my other videos Bye-bye. Take care. See you.